In October 2022, Tesla announced they were replacing the functionality in the ultrasonic sensors with Tesla Vision. Here we are one year later, and we're really no closer to understanding what Tesla's roadmap is for rolling out the functionality that used to be found in the ultrasonic sensors as part of their Tesla Vision updates. Now, I took delivery of my rear wheel drive Model 3 in November 2022. To make matters worse, I upgraded to Enhanced Autopilot, which consists of three features that relied on the functionality within those ultrasonic sensors. Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon are three features available in Enhanced Autopilot that are not currently active because Tesla Vision doesn't support those features. Those features are still not available to me, nor do I have any insight as to when they will be available. No discount, no refund, I just keep waiting. So where is Tesla at with their Tesla Vision roadmap? I mean, your guess is as good as mine at this point. In October 2023, Tesla updated an article on their website to give an update on the transition to Tesla Vision. That article states, in 2022, we took the next step in Tesla Vision by removing ultrasonic sensors from Model 3 and Model Y for most global markets, followed by all Model S and Model X in 2023. Along with the removal of ultrasonic sensors, we simultaneously launched our vision-based occupancy network, currently used in full self-driving, to replace the inputs generated by ultrasonic sensors. For a period of time during this transition, Tesla Vision vehicles that are not equipped with the ultrasonic sensors will be delivered with some features limited or inactive, including Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon. Once these features achieve performance parity to vehicles equipped with the ultrasonic sensors, Vision-based vehicles will have these features restored via a series of over-the-air updates. Now, this is basically the same thing they stated in October of 2022. There is no reference to a roadmap or timing as to when these features will be available. Now, they did roll out Tesla Vision Park Assist earlier in 2023, but the reviews on that have been somewhat mixed. Personally, I find that I don't rely on it. I use it, I have it active, but I rely more on the camera view than I do with Tesla Vision Park Assist telling me when I'm getting close to something because it's not overly accurate. So here we are, one year later, I'm still leveraging a product, Enhanced Autopilot, that has 60% of the features not available to me, and I have no insight as to when they will be available. I mean, that's just horrible customer service on Tesla's part. At least communicate what the plan is. Even if it's not accurate, give me a date on something that I can at least look forward to. Wish I had more to share at this point, but I really don't. I'm going to keep my ears open, and as I hear more, I'll update things on this channel. Hope you guys found this helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.